Hello friends, welcome back to my channel Mukesh English. Friends, in this video we shall have the discussion of the important question paper 2020 or 2022 question paper of the first semester BA Bangalore North University BNU and BU students BU students can you also utilize they can also utilize this question paper as a practice question paper. So first semester BA guys, this is the first examination for you and remember Remember, you will be having the question paper for two hours, 30 minutes, two and a half an hour, not for three hours. And this question paper has the weightage for 60 marks. And this question paper is divided into the two sections. Section A, which consists 40 marks questions from the workbook. Section B, which consists 20 marks questions from the course book. And the course book has five chapters. So let's begin the section A, 40 marks questions from the workbook. Now here. Five marks questions will be asked from the comprehension passage. You need to read the passage. You can pause the video and you can read the passage and you need to answer five questions. Read the passage carefully and answer the to the point questions. Don't write the passage. There is, there is no marks for copying the passage. There is a, there are marks for, for collecting the answer, getting the answer from the passage. So read the passage carefully and answer five questions based on the passage. So comprehension passage, five marks. Then you have the next questions from the writing bibliography using MLA or APA format. Then this question has the weightage for two marks. Now here, title of the book, New Approaches to Language Teaching, Publisher, Oxford University Press, author, Ram Narayan Gupta, place of publication, New Delhi, and the year of publication, 1995. So here you need to here you need to find, you need to arrange this information using the two format MLA format, but the uh, there is a there is a common thing is, is here between the two formats. We'll let's see here the very first the author's name Ram Narayan Gupta. Here this last name should be written first Gupta comma Ram Narayan something like Mukesh Soni Soni comma Mukesh. Similarly Gupta comma Ram Narayan full stop right. And afterwards, the name of the book, New Approaches to Language Teaching, copy the same, New Approaches to Language Teaching, double inverted comma, full stop. Afterwards, publisher name, Oxford Uni University Press, Oxford University Press, followed by comma, uh, place of publication, New Delhi, comma, year of publication, 1995, full stop. So this is the format you can use as the MLA format. Only one minor change is here. If you use APA format, this year of publication will be placed next to the name of the person, name of the author. So here, so better you, you, you can use here MLA format. So if you want to know more about MLA format, APA format, you can go through the description box and there's a link of MLA or APA or how to write the bibliography. I've done a video, go through my video on how to do the bibli bibliography, right? The, this is for two marks. Now you need to describe the picture. Go through the picture. Read. I mean to say, imagine that what does this picture depict? My answer is very much limited. You can also elaborate it and you'll be getting a two marks. Don't do any kind of grammatical error. Next question you have here, data interpretation. I done a separate video on data interpretation. You can go through the, that video. So you need to read this table and this table speaks about the production and sales of fruits in the state during the year 1991. So there are various fruits are here, total volume of production, organic fruits, inorganic fruits, sold to local people, sold to the companies. So based on this table, you will be asked here five questions. So read the table properly, analyze it and answer the questions. You'll be getting here five marks. Next. Uh, uh, next here, next questions you have here out of four or five questions, you need to opt here three questions and each question is for two marks, six marks questions. The main objective of, of a brochure, brochure acts as a detailed reference of any products or any service for the prospectors or for any of the customer. Listening leads to learning, true or false? Yes, it's true mention the two advantages of verbal communication it conveys information it conveys emotions it brings clarity in the thought then what is non-verbal communication when you convey the information using the words when you convey the information uh, sorry when you do uh, when you convey the information without using the words that's called non-verbal communication that means to see the body language 
here posture gesture eye contact um, uh, eye contact facial expression there are all the examples of non verbal communication then what is kinesics kinesics is the interpretation of body communication such as facial expression gestures so kinesics is the another word of body language then a good listener considers all evidence before jumping to a conclusion do we agree or disagree yes we do agree now you need to opt here any two questions and each question is for three marks so totally six marks questions introduce any uh, introduce yourself to introduce your classmate to your father hi dad meet my friend mukesh he is also studying in my college so formal introduction you should give how would you seek permission from a brother to use your to use his bike his bike sorry to use his bike hi brother my bike has got punctured could you please allow me to use your bike for one day what inquiry would you make to open a bank account excuse me sir could you tell me could you please tell me the procedure to open a bank account so use the formal inquiries formal expression of language how would you offer a seat to a senior citizen in a city bus sir kindly be seated here i stand sir if you don't mind could you please be seated here your brother has secured first prize in university level sports event congratulate him on his achievements in sports hi ramesh many congratulations for the first prize we are proud of you now the next question give a set of instructions for the following task and how to send the a live location in whatsapp so i need not say the instructions should be given by using the main verb first in the instructive mode enable location and tap open tap select so we are using here the the main verb very first then give directions uh, i have forgot to mention here the map here i'm sorry you need to give direction a map will be given and based on the map you need to give the direction here take right uh, go straight after gandhi park you will get the signal take left from the signal so i'm i'm extremely sorry that i have forgotten to mention the map here so giving direction for three marks now you have here some sort of remedial grammar uh, there are chunks for each grammatical uh, items here so subject verb agreement two questions the army is on vigilant duty now at the border army is singular and singular noun so obviously the helping verb should also be singular is tejas and tanushri will come to our house not comes will come next ws questions two marks two questions karuna is a good chess player so i want to get karuna as an answer who is a good chess player who is a good chess player then the boy went to the hospital to meet the doctor i want to get the answer to meet the doctor so the question is here why did the why did the, the boy go to hospital why did the boy go to hospital next question tags three question tags we haven't seen that so have we so if your sentence is in negative question tag will be positive have we the students invited me didn't they invited is in the past tense in the past tense helping verb is here did did plus not didn't they ramu can speak english can't he now prefix or suffix if you want to change your appearance appear will become appearance you can get modern clothes i hope you will finally make the right decision decide will become here decision now linkers we should not spend more than we earn we went out even though the weather was bad since we arrived late all the best oh, sorry all the best seats had been taken so that's about the conjunction or the linkers so these are the questions from the workbook for 40 marks now we are discussing here the questions from the course book 20 marks questions now the course book again divided into the two sections two marks questions and five marks so five questions will be asked for two marks and two questions will be asked for the five marks vice versa in the poem don't look into my vanity bag what does the handkerchief suggest on many occasions women hide their mouth with a handkerchief 
to hide the expression of grief or astonishment so handkerchief here refers to it's a medium it's a it's a source to where it shows that how the women women hide their expressions of grief or astonishment using the handkerchief does the vanity bag act as a symbol of vanity of a woman or a woman's inner self so obviously it refers to woman's inner self why was valen worried when the master of the house passed away he was worried because he thought he might lose he, he might lose his job who was the most intelligent girl in the class gauri was the most intelligent girl in the class in the class why did the school inspector appreciate saraswati because she answered the questions which was asked to gauri about geography but gauri could not answer these questions so uh, saraswati was able to answer the questions on geography which gauri could not answer so she was appreciated by the school inspector in the story after 20 years after 20 years a plain clothes man did the job what kind of job he was doing his job was here arresting the arresting bob he was doing the job of arresting bob option a while speaking to the policeman on the beat the man refers to which which restaurant he refers to the big joe brady's restaurant big joe brady's restaurant so these are the two marks questions now let's have a discussion of the five marks questions how does vanity bag become a metaphor in the poem don't look into the vanity bag in the poem don't look into the vanity bag a woman takes pride in a possession appearance or achievement so the moment a woman possesses a vanity bag it means she also take pride in her emotions and abstract qualities carrying a vanity bag she also carries a pride along wherever she goes she has her vanity bag she has also so many things in it and she may not use all of them at all in spite of it she has it in the same way as she represents herself outwardly she is a house of complex qualities there are many times when she will not be able to understand her own self so vanity bag is equivalent to her emotions and her complex nature just as it is difficult to separate her from a vanity bag similarly it's difficult to separate her from her emotions question number 2 question number 2 how does valen turn the the field into a the wheat field into a beautiful garden just a minute one minute yeah When Valen was 18 years old he left home and his father slapped him one day for coming late with a mid with a mid meal so he left home and this enraged Valen this enraged him so much that he decided to leave home he walked out of the village walked on till he came to the town Malgudi here he served he sorry here starved for a couple couple of days and finally he reached Malgudi village town here an old man took him as an assistant as his assistant for laying a garden valen accepted the job and he sat day after day in the sun to clear the land of the unwanted plants gradually the garden took shape as the house came up the garden also developed by the time the margosa tree came up to the vision of valen the house had taken mellowness in its appearance its original brightness had disappeared question number 3 briefly describe the school inspector school inspector's visit to the class the narrator explained here two incidents of the school inspector's visit to the class the first visit of the inspector in the previous year made to loss to lose the friendship between gauri and saraswati because of his, his visit both of them they lost the friendship because saraswati answered the the inspector's question even without studying and she was praised and the second incident was when the new inspector visited the class at the time when teacher's wife was in the classroom the inspector thought that she would be a student in the class and told that she was a mature one and later he thought that she was an aya meanwhile lakshmi stood up to sing a song and the little kitten 
Garuda Mari was on a lap. The inspector put his hand in search of it and the kitten scratched the inspector's hand and also Lakshmi's stomach. So these are the two important incidents which describes the visit of inspector to the class. Describe Bob as a friend to Jimmy Wells. The story first introduces the friendship theme when Bob attempts to justify his presence to the policeman. Bob talks about his friend with praises that affirm a deeply rooted friendship. He explains, he says, Jimmy Wells, my best chum and the finest chap in the world. The compassion and the affection that is evident in Bob's tone as he talks about Jimmy show the magnitude of the friendship. He even likens the, friend, the relationships to that between the two brothers who have grown up together. The friendship, one minute, one minute, just a minute. Sorry for the interruption. The friendship has brought Bob a thousand miles from the West to see Jimmy to keep a long standing promise. It's a loyalty to this promise and on a larger scale, the friendship. <coughs> he says, I came a thousand miles to start to stand in this door tonight and it's worth if it, if it's worth it if my old partner turns up. Bob is also certain that his friend will keep the promise and show up. The conviction in his voice that Jimmy will keep the promise as well speaks volumes about the friendship. True to Bob's words, Jimmy shows up a few minutes to the agreed time and only not in the way the men from the West expected. Jimmy, as, is, as the enthusiastic and committed to this meeting as Bob, which furthers themes which further brings the theme of friendship one minute describe the three great hearts of Rameshwaram Kalam's father was the imam of the Rameshwaram mosque he had a fairy business and the pilgrims were taken to Danush heads he was a devout man who inculcated all habits of who inculcated all habits of a good Muslim in children. He was a philosopher and guide for the inhabitants of the town. His closest friends were Pakshi Lakshmana Shastri, the priest of Ramanath Swami temple, and he was well versed in Vedic knowledge. Father Bodal was a priest of the lone church in the town. These three were the great hearts of Rameshwaram. These three learned men were concerned about the need for harmony and peace in Rameshwaram. They discussed matters of religion and the happiness of the town. Sometimes people came to visit them at that time with specific issues to be resolved or they kept each other appraised of anything that could threaten the peace among the people. Together, they tried to work out the ways of clearing miscommunication or scorching rumors between before they assumed dangerous proportions. The fundamental requirement for peace was effective communication among the sections of people was always kept alive by these three patriarchs. So friends, this is how I have, I have tried to solve the question paper of 2022 uh, first, sem first semester BA generic English under Bangalore North University and this question paper can also be used as a practice paper by the BU students. So friends, just go through the description box. You'll get all the lessons links, videos links, all the previous year's question papers, videos links and also go through the uh, playlist on my YouTube channel. Wish you good luck for tomorrow's examination. Thank you so much. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching this video. You can reach me at mukeshenglish at the rate of gmail.com. Please do subscribe to the channel. Click on the like button. For more videos on literature, workbook, pronunciation, grammar, communication skills, presentation skills, interview skills, 
Stay in tune with Mukesh English. Thank you once again.